Let's say you have a particular section of track you want to practice. You could run through it and then spend the next minute or more depending on lap times. Finally getting around to that section only to blow the corner. Or you can practice that section over and over and over again. Which would be better? Now come on, let's go. Alright, to get started with setting this up, you need to go to Options, Controls, and right above the black box, you'll see these four. Active Reset Start Point, Active Reset Run, Custom Sector, Mark Start Point, Custom Sector, Mark End Point. I'll take us through what each of these does as we get out on the track, but the first thing we want to do is make sure we have them set up. A couple key points that I've learned through trial and error is make sure that this reset save start point is not an easy to access button on your wheel because you will end up pushing it by accident and resetting the whole thing. And once when you reset it, then you have to reset the other three. So the first thing we don't want to do is set that up. I have it down here on the bottom. Active reset run. Now that one is on my wheel because as I show when we get started, you want to be able to access it with your hands on the wheel because you'll jump right back into the same condition the car was in when you save the start point. Go there. Mark start point. You only use this once during the uh, session unless you want to move your custom sector around. So we go there and there. That's all of our stuff set up. Now we we'll jump into the pit and see what it looks like. Alright, so it's important to run a couple of laps before setting the restart point to warm up your tires for the specific condition you want to test. Each time you hit the restart sector button, it resets the car configuration, including tire wear, fuel level, steering input, damage, and track conditions. This is why running a couple laps before setting the start point is critical. A few moments later. So we want to be going at uh, race speed when we set the save start point. Here we go. Click. You hear it. Hear the beep. Then we can slow down and set our sector start and end points where we want to measure. So I want to start here. And roll through the sector to the end point. Test to run out of the corner. And now I can hit the reset and be right back to where I started. And this first run will set a baseline. And then I reset, clicking the button on my wheel. And I come in a little bit hotter that time and slower coming out. Slowing down a bit earlier can help you make time coming out of the corner. Slow in, fast out. Or if you blow the corner. Avoid all the grass. Sweet candy, buddy. If you find this helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when I post new content. And as always, thanks for watching.